Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Cubemers Prime. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Gboard or Google Keyboard on both platforms, iOS and Android. So with, without further ado, let's start. Let's get into the settings for a second. Okay, so here are the settings for both. And you can tell that um, there's a lot more settings and a lot more stuff on iOS and on Android than iOS. iOS is missing a lot of settings. You got your multi uh, languages, it supports it. And then here's the keyboard settings on iOS, all this. And here it is on Android. And there's more settings on Android than, than this. So I'm gonna let you, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I'll, I'll be taking forever doing, going through all the settings. But one of the features I like about Android is how you could uh, make the keyboard taller and smaller and it's not there on, on, on iOS. Um, let, let me just scroll slowly so you can see. Number row, it appears on both, but I cannot get number row appearing on iOS. I don't know why. But let me scroll slowly down so you can see wh what options are on both, right? You can see, just look at it easily. Don't look at it slowly. And then we got more preferences on the on the Android side. Okay, search settings is this here. Search settings is this, both. Okay, um, themes on both. They both are themable. Okay, text correction is not on the iOS. Look at all this, just for text correction on Android. Glide typing on Android, which is on iOS also, but it's only one option. Dictionary is not on iOS. And look, advanced. Advanced is on, it's on Android. There's so much more options um, on, on Android. There's a sticker options on iOS, which the Android version doesn't have, but I don't care about that. It's probably in the keyboard. Now, if you go on iOS into the settings um, and you go inside here, there's more options, but that's it. Now, let's go into the, the, how the app performs on a regular basis. So we're going to tap on it. The keyboards are up, up here. First of all, the accent keyboard, the, 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 the symbols are not on the iOS. And I have show number row options enabled on iOS. It doesn't, it doesn't appear there. Now, if I tap on the Google icon here, it's all different options. Now. Already, but right there, there's a few, um, without doing anything, there's two icons here on the sides on iOS. This one is to search all media, which is on Android. If you tap this, which is, you, you go here, is all media, right? Now, and then this one here is to take us, uh, to make a video loop of, uh, from uh, into a GIF, which is on Android. You just have to go in here, tap the, the GIF icon, and then my GIF, and you make a GIF. So it's there also. So he, okay, so let's tap on the icon, the the Google icon, see what happens. It's completely different, guys. It's completely di different. Now, when you start typing, let's say, um, I'm gonna type Nokia. I don't know why I was type Nokia to search. When you tap Nokia, search, you're gonna get Nokia here, which is not available on, on, uh, on the Android side. And then you could tap YouTube, Nokia. Although weather and then maps, you gotta always have to search. And then contacts, which is a, it's a nice walk. I'm not gonna lie. So you could put straight, uh, you could do links, copy. See, copy the link if you hold down. You could do that, which is nice. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's very nice. On the Android side, I like it also, but I like it more actually. This one here, when you type something, you tap on the uh, Google side, you tap on here and you move the, the cursor around, copy paste letters, etc. Um, you could do one handed, move around on the Android side. Okay. Uh, you can do that on the iOS one. Um, what else? This is, uh, you got your GIF support here or your all media GIF support. Yeah, all media. And then you got on the, on the Android side again, you got GIF support, which is a, a shortcut. What else? And then you got, you hold, you press these three buttons, you got more options here. And I'm gonna put this on top. You could change it around, theme it. It has themes uh, shortcut directly. Okay. 
But my favorite part is uh, the translation. They say you, you're talking to a girl from overseas and you want to say something to her and you guys cannot communicate. Hi, how are you? Are you? And it goes and it just send it and you're good to go, which the iOS one is missing. Okay, I want to do something. I want to go into Google Plus and show you how the, uh, the GIF support works. And it works weird on iOS. Check it out. Let's tap on here. GIF. Let's say enjoy. Copy. When you tap on it, it says copy. On the Android side, let's say this here. Boom. As soon as you tap on it, it automatically paste it on the on the on the app. On the iOS side, you copy it and then you paste it. And sometimes it might not work. I don't know. Sometimes they might. There you go. And there you go. That's how you do. Um, that's how you do GIFs on it on uh, on the uh, iOS side, which is stupid. Why can't it just do it for you? Copy and paste. I don't know why it does that. It's, it's, it's a pain in the butt, man. And then one more thing is, um, let's get out here. One more thing I want to go into on the keyboard. Tap on the little smiley face. You got your um, your emojis, right? And then your all media here, right? GIF support again. Okay, and you got everything here too. And you got my GIF. I could do my own GIF also. And then you got this here. I like this. This is nice. It makes icon. It makes like pictures and smiley faces with uh with symbols. It's not on the on the Android side at all. I don't see it. I don't see it at all, which is a bummer, a bummer. This is really nice, man. Look at this. Boom. Boom. I love that. And then it has all those pen support. You just scribble and you copy and paste. The, the Android one is missing also. Okay. So it's missing. So it has, it's good and it's bad. I wish some, I wish um, some of the stuff would transfer into the Android side. And what else? Um, if you hold the space bar, you get your, uh, Change keyboard language. You tap here. You could do that, and this how you, this how you can switch keyboard on the uh, iOS side. See that? Or switch languages. On the Android side, you just tap the little icon on the bottom, which is better. I like it, in my opinion. And then let's one more thing. Let's see how the microphone works. See, that's the thing. There's no microphone. How do I do the microphone here? What I gotta do to do microphone? Oh, I gotta hold the. The space bar, which is stupid. I like it better on Android, which is the tap here. You see that? I like that better on Android. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And you guys uh, give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. And you guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.